Hi, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do another Notion build with me. You guys love the video that I did a few videos ago. And so we're bringing it back with a really practical use case. We're going to build a medical visit log in Notion. So if you're new to Notion, this is actually a really good video to start with because it's going to give you insight into how databases work, how to create one from scratch, because I feel like a lot of times Notion videos show all these complicated setups and you're like, I don't know how you got there. We're going to show you how they got there by creating something really practical that is going to keep track of all your medical visits from the hospital, primary care, urgent care, specialist for you and everyone in your family. And come tax time, if you do medical deductions, this is going to be really handy to have that information there. And also when you're filling out forms at new doctor's offices, and you know how they always ask like, when was the last time you had surgery? And I can never remember. And so this you can access right on your phone and you can see exactly when you had that specific surgery. Or like for me, it's wisdom teeth removal. I don't remember when I had my wisdom teeth out. I know it was in college, early college. The first thing we're gonna do in Notion is create a new page. So I'm gonna click new page. And instead of adding a database to this page, I wanna actually turn the page into a database. And you can do this with any database, any view. So I'm gonna click table and let's click new database and we'll name it here medical visit log or medical visits, whatever you wanna name it. And you'll see here we've got the simple table database, which I think is the easiest way to start and get to know databases because it looks very similar to a spreadsheet. We're used to the rows and the columns. So any visit to a specific medical location, we would put here as the name of the actual page and then all the properties that we're going to add, which give more information and context to that page and the entire database as a whole would be like the date you went, where you went, how much it cost, what sort of documents did they give you to take home that you could upload, scan and upload into that database. But first, let's do the fun thing. Let's add an icon and a cover. So I'm gonna go and add a medical icon. And then because doctor's offices and hospitals are so sterile, I mean, they try to put plants in there to make it look good. I'm gonna add a plant cover because on the unsplash stock photo section here, they just do not give you a lot of great options. So let's look at plants and just add something really simple to that. We can reposition it if we want. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now we can start building out this database in terms of the properties. The name column, is the only property that you cannot change because that is the name of the specific page. I'm gonna change this to reason, the reason why you had this particular visit. So as an example, let me put in, maybe we had a annual dental exam and let's also add annual physical, and then someone ended up in the hospital with a broken arm. So we'll just have those three as an example. And you can see when you hover over those names, then you can open them into their own pages. But I'm gonna close that for now and start adding properties, which are the other columns to this database. Every database is going to give you a default tags to the database and we actually do need to use this although they've given us a multi-select property here and that means you could have multiple tags in the same cell so to speak i actually want this to just be a select property which means we can only add one tag to the cell because i want to make this the location of the visit so i'm going to rename that there and then now we need to add the different options. So over here, you can see add options. You can add them here by clicking on and typing a new option. So maybe it's the hospital and you can click enter and also click on that little arrow and change the different colors. So maybe you wanna have colors for the hospitals, urgent care, doctor's office, and do all sort of color coding. I'm gonna add a couple new options here primary doctor, and we'll make that green, 
And the other place that you can add tags is if you click in the cell itself. You can either search for an option or you can create one. So let's just put in urgent care. And we also need, I'm gonna delete that, a dental office. So now we can choose, okay, dental office for that. Annual physical was at the primary doctor. Broken arm was at the hospital. So you can see how that works. Another useful property is going to be the date of the visit. So I'm gonna add another property using this plus sign here. And I'm gonna choose the date property, which is very self-explanatory. I don't need to rename this at all. And let's just add day's date to that a week later and that same week. There's a lot going on that week. I'm also going to click on this and drag it to the beginning of the table. It's up to you the order of database properties that you want to see. I usually like to see the date first and then the reason and then the location of where that visit happened. Another thing too, and I intentionally put in a date that was before the date above it in this row. So you can see August 6th and August 5th. It's not really in order. That's because I wanna show you that you can actually sort these columns. So I'm gonna right click on date and say sort ascending, and then it automatically puts the dates in the correct order for me. So they're easy to find. But we still need to add a few more properties. So let's add the cost of the visit which means we need to add a number property. Number, you can either do a plain number, a number with commas, or a certain currency or a percent. So I'm gonna use the US currency, rename this cost, and then for this one, I wanna show you that you can also change the icon, which can just add a little more spice to your database. So I'm gonna make this a little currency icon, and let's say the dental exam was just was that was actually free, got good dental insurance. Broken arm was like $100 for the visit and the annual physical was a $20 copay. And then I'm going to decrease the size of that column because we don't need it to be super big. That way we can fit more information here. The other thing you can do with any number column is click here on the bottom and you can add up the numbers inside or for this purpose, wanna do the sum of the cost so we know how much we spent on all these visits. Now we kind of need to know, okay, who was this visit for? If you have more people in your family than just yourself, then you wanna add people to this database. So I'm gonna click the plus sign to add a new property. You can do this one of two ways. You could add a person property if it was just you and a spouse sharing the Notion database and you both shared certain pages. And so you could choose, you could click on the cell for that property and choose whatever person you wanted to put in. But if you have kids that are not of the age to use Notion quite yet, then you want to turn this into a select property. So that's the same property that we used for the location. I'm going to click on that, edit property, edit the type, go to select, and then I'm going to add the options of whoever this is. So I'll add myself and I'll add Joseph, my husband, and you could add any kids or anyone else that you were keeping track of for their medical visits. So I'll just add a couple in here. Joseph never had a broken arm, but he did have a broken wrist at one point. And I'm going to drag that a little bit smaller. There's two more properties that I think would be really useful for you to add to this database. One is the files and media properties. So that's gonna be where you could scan the bill that the doctor's office gives you, any discharge paperwork, anything that you want to reference and not file away so that you just don't have paper clutter piling up around you. You can scan it using the app Genius Scan, and then you can upload it to the cell into Notion. You click on the cell and it says, hey, upload, choose file. You can choose it from your phone or choose it from your computer. Actually, the phone's a better deal because it, Genius Scan is an app. But if you're interested in my other favorite apps, I did a video on my top 10 favorite apps. I'll leave a link here for that and a link in the description. So you can watch that after this video. I'm also going to rename that before I move on to the last property, documents, because I just think that's a better definition for it.
And then the last property will be a simple notes property. So for that, we're gonna use text. And I'll just rename this notes. And that way you can write down anything related to that specific medical visit. So maybe at the annual physical, you wanted to also talk to the doctor and you did talk to the doctor about some sort of weird rash that you were having. And so you could just put that in there to sort of trigger your memory. Oh yeah, I talked to the doctor about that at that visit. Now we have this database all kind of figured out. If there are any properties that you don't think would be useful for you to see on this view, you can easily hide them. So the documents property, I don't think you necessarily need to see. That's something you would want to see when you open up the page, then you can see the documents related to that visit. So you can right click on that cell and click hide in view. That would make it disappear. Or you can go to the top three dots at the upper right of this database and you can click properties and you can toggle the little eyeball icon on and off to remove it from your view. The table we created here is just going to be an ongoing list of all your visits. So you can have as many visits as you want over your lifetime in this table and it's just gonna show in the order of the date because we've sorted it by date. But there might be times where you want to see certain information really quickly. And of course you can always use the search function, the little magnifying glass icon up here on top of the database is a very powerful way to pull up any page based on the keywords that you have. But you can also create filtered views of let's say you wanted all the visits related to someone in your family just listed out. You didn't wanna kind of scroll through all of them. Or maybe you wanted to see every single hospital visit that you went to or every single dental visit that you went to. And to get that information, we need to create different tabs for this database and then filter those tabs to the different views that we want to see. Here's how you would do this. Up here on the top of the database in the left-hand side is a plus sign to add a new tab. They call it new view because these views are the six different views that you could see. We're gonna still do the table view but it also is a new tab. And so I want to rename this tab. And let's say this is all the dental visits for everyone in the family. We just want to see all of them at a glance. So I'm going to name that dental. And you can also change the icon for that as well. And I'm going to click done. Now we need to filter this view to just dental visits. So I'm going to click filter up here filter by the location, anything that where dental office is added as a tag, make sure you just show that for this view. So that's how that works. You could also add a view, let's say we wanted someone in the family, we wanted to see all of their visits, wherever, dental, hospital, primary care, wherever. So I'm gonna just name this to mine. Click done, keep it as a table view because I think that's the most useful way to see this information. And then we need to filter that by person. Anywhere where Kaylin is added as a tag, make sure you show all the visits related to me. And then I'll also change that little icon. So because we have different tabs, we wanna name this something a little more descriptive than table. So we could just say all or all visits, whatever you wanted. And I'm gonna add multiple people because this is all visits for everyone. That's just a really easy way to be able to see information that you wanna see in a filtered view. The last thing I wanna show you that is going to make this database really user-friendly and easier and quicker to use is the use of templates. Templates are a way where you can predetermine how you wanna populate certain database properties so that in one click, you get those properties already filled out, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go into the upper right-hand side of this database, and instead of clicking new to add a new visit to this database, I'm gonna click the little drop-down arrow and new template. Then we can name the template. So for any dental visit in the future, let's create a template for that. So dental visit is what I'm gonna name it. I'm also going to add an icon to it because I like to have in my medical visit log an icon for each type of visit. So I'm gonna add a little tooth to that and let's make it blue. 
So anytime I add a dental visit, it'll automatically put that icon on there. And the location here, we can add, let's see, dental office. While I'm in here, this is not related to the template at all, but I did forget to mention that even though you can drag and drop and move properties around in the database, you can also do that in the individual page. So like I want to see date first, I want to see who this is for, the location, cost documents, and notes. So you can just put it in the order that you want to see. Okay, so we've got the emoji, dental visit, and the location all set. I don't need to fill out anything else for that. So I'm going to click back. So then when I click new, I have the ability to choose a template because it's going to show up under here. So I could choose dental visit or maybe I created a medical template for a primary care office visit or the hospital visit. You can create as many templates as you want. The other thing you can do is if you've added something and then you're like, oh wait, I really wanted a template for this. You can go into that page. So let's go into this annual dental exam and click dental visit to apply the template. Now we already had dental office selected, but it is going to add that emoji if you just wanted to keep things kind of looking the same. This database, like I said before, can be easily replicated to keep track of all your pet's medical visits. So let me show you my vet appointment log. So you can see the similar properties that I have and also one, I think there's one different one. Here I have the same table database view. I've got a date property, the name property I have renamed as reason. And then instead of the location, I'm actually putting the vet that saw my rabbit. So I'm adding that as the select property there. I also have the cost or number property. And then I added one more number property to keep track of the weight. So rabbits, because they're so small, and if their weight fluctuates, like they lose weight or they gain a lot of weight, that can cause a lot of health issues. So I really like to keep tabs on their weight. So every time I take my rabbit Cody into the vet, I'm always recording what that weight is in here so I can just see how it fluctuates. I also have the document section. So I have invoices here, discharge papers from surgery, I even have x-ray photos. I'm not going to show you what an x-ray looks like of a rabbit because it's kind of terrifying, <laughs> but I have those uploaded in there and then a similar notes property just to add like, why did I bring Cody in for a teeth check? Because he was drooling. And so I took him to a vet in Phoenix just to assess that. And then up here, you could have different tabs for each of your pets, depending on how many that you had. This would be the same exact thing that we did over in the medical log when we added tabs for different members in your family. You can, of course, also build a vehicle maintenance log or tracker that, again, looks very similar to this. So let me go over to that one and show you what mine looks like. It'll give you an idea to set up your own. Here I have another table database. I have the date. The name is the reason. And then I do not have a select property for the location because we do travel a lot in an RV and generally get repairs all over the country. I didn't find it useful to have the same like select tag because I would have a lot of them. So I just did a simple text property and explained where it was, what the name of the shop was, and then where it was located. I also have the document section for all of the paperwork that they give us and then the cost section, which is actually a lot higher than any vet visit or medical bills that we've had, which is just so sobering. <laughs> and then up here, this should be familiar to you by now. I have different tabs filtered to show me all the visits related to the truck. And then when I click on the fifth wheel, all the repairs related to the fifth wheel, which I guess you can obviously see we have significantly more truck problems than fifth wheel problems. I hope you're starting to see that Notion databases are just a really powerful way to organize and sort information that you want to keep track of. If you're interested in doing another Notion build with me because there's lots of ways we can use Notion to organize our lives, make sure you click this playlist here. I'm going to have all my build with me videos in that playlist so you can kind of binge and start building out your Notion workspace. If you like this video and it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss when I publish another one, and I'll see you in the next video.